Today we're going to be talking about the IRA Rico 384 and 640 Thermal Optic. This is the IRA Rico 384. The 640 looks exactly the same, operates exactly the same. You have your button layout right here on the top, it has four buttons. This one in right here is raised, you can see it's raised. They're easy to work in the dark, you can feel which button is, is which. By the one being raised, you, you know where you're at, what button to push. Very simple menu in the scope to operate. This is your front focus. This has a lens cap. This has a focus back here. It comes with a rubber eyepiece. It's probably about that long. I don't, I'm don't. i not a big fan of the eyepiece. I'll take them off. Um, this is the mount that it comes with also. Has a, a rail on here. At some point, they will have laser range finders to go on them. The plug you can plug it in to charge it, or plug it into a computer. Here's your battery compartment right there. It's easy to just take and swap the battery in and out if you want to buy an external extra battery to put in it. Battery life is really long on this scope. I've ran them probably eight to 10 hours regularly and have had no issues with the battery going dead on it. And colder temperatures are probably gonna work a little less, but in the warmer months I've been using this and this thing to last a really long time. I've been really impressed with the battery life of this scope. The image quality on these scopes are amazing. It's, it's all, everything on this scope is metal, except for this plastic cap. It's really hard for me to find anything about this scope that I don't like. And honestly, the only thing I can really point out to you that I don't like is just this, this mount that it comes with from the factory. I mean, I wish they wouldn't have wanted to put a QD, like American Defense uh, mount on it, instead of putting this janky thing on it. But it works just fine. It is, it is quick to attach. You can take it on and off, but I don't, I haven't checked the zero to see how accurate it really would be if you took it on and off. But I wouldn't trust it like I would an American Defense or some of that uh, model, you know. Um, that's probably the main thing I can think of that I really don't like about this scope is the mount. The image quality is out of this world clear. I mean, it, this is a 384 right here, and I'm not going to say it's as clear as a 640, but it's really, really knocking on the door of a 640. A lot of guys I could probably handle them as 384 and a 640, say a Pulsar Trail or something along there, and they wouldn't be able to tell me which was a 640 and which was a 384 if they didn't know. This is honestly probably my favorite scope on the market right now, and you, price-wise, you can't beat it for what you get. It's similarly built the way the trails are, but stuff that I didn't like about trails Seem like IRA has fixed it on this scope right here. It's, I mean, it, it's really hard to tell you that there's something about the scope that I don't like, honestly. It's, it's been a great scope. I haven't had zero issues with it. Warranty, you have a five year warranty, five day return policy. They get that scope in, and then within five business days, they will either fix your scope or send you a brand new one. You can't beat that for a five year warranty. I think anyone who purchased one of these scopes will really, really like it. I mean, everyone I've shown this to has just loved it. I've sold a bunch of these scopes and everybody loves them. I've used the 384, the 640, both of them are great scopes. Here in a minute, I'm gonna show you some video footage through both the 384 and the 640 and show you what kind of image quality that they have. Um, I, th I really do think anybody that bought one is really like them. Hard to beat for the price and the warranty. And iRay has really good customer service also. So if you're worried about customer service, they'll answer the phone, answer your questions, anything you might have. They also make a, an app. iRay makes the app. Um, it's live streams to your phone. You, you down, your videos download really quick. It's easy to use. Take pictures, videos, whatever with it. And, Watch them right there on your phone. It's, uh, it's not like a Stream Vision app where you have a lot of difficulty downloading videos and stuff like that. 
This, this works really good, similar to like the AGM app works really good also. I've had really good luck with the AGM app. And I really can't say nothing bad about the scope other than it is heavy. It's a heavy scope. It's, it's all metal. It's heavy. And this mount, I don't really like this mount. But other than that, I can not have really anything negative to say about this scope. It's, it's my favorite scope right now. It's what I'm using personally.